take a couple minutes to talk about my recent experience with level zero extraction it's a pvpvp extraction looter where you got aliens and players that you have to worry about now it's fairly simple to games like escape from tarkov or dark and darker the whole idea is that you're going into a raid you're looting up and you're getting out as a mercenary you're fighting other mercenaries you're also trying to survive from aliens while looting up and surviving as an alien well it's fairly simple your job is to stop the mercenaries now this game throws in a few different twists as an alien you get different abilities you can go invisible you can emp or stop electronics from working you can also do different things like blinding the player with spitting i think it's like some sort of acid or something like that now as a player you do get different things you can use to defend yourself obviously you get weapons but you also get things um like lighting such as flares that are going to help you from surviving the alien now any lobby or a server you're going to have up to two aliens and up to nine players total it is three teams of three or up to three people per team but i say up to nine players because your team might ne necessarily get filled as a solo player i ended up running across two duo teams so in that example there was only five people in the server on top of one to two aliens now this game before i go into the goods and the bads I just want to show you what my first five minutes of this game was like. I'm not going to play the whole five minutes, just the juicy bits. And you can judge for yourself if you think this game might be worth trying out and adding to your Steam wish list. If it is, you do add it to your Steam wish list. I ask one thing just give the video a like. The fuck is that? Oh my god. Attention. Critical overload. Backup power failure. Bro, I'm fucking nervous. Oh. <sighs> okay, I have a I have a headlamp. Oh my god. Backup power restored. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely haven't been scared like that since middle school. And man, that's actually the reason I stopped playing freaking horror games. It's because of games like Fear. Okay, I'll never forget it. I come out of a sewer. I see someone running right to left in an alleyway. I'm like, oh, what is that? Where did they go? What are they doing? And I go looking for them. I end up in a different alleyway, a dead end. There's nothing there. And I'm like, oh no, where'd they go? And I turn around and this fucking monster is right in your face. You know, it literally scared. Well, I'm not going to say it scared anything out of me because no, no fluids came out, but part of my soul left that day. Okay. That's a big reason why I don't play horror games, but this, that was fun. <laughs> that adrenaline rush that it gave me nothing compares at least at this moment with when it comes to video games now a couple things about the game i want to talk about some of the bads first um i've pretty much only talked good about the game so far so uh, one thing i noticed i could not get into a lobby being an alien I tried several different times not sure what was going on it is a closed beta so my expectations were fairly low but if they plan on releasing this game at the end of the year, they need to fix that. All right, I don't want to be waiting 10 minutes on a lobby to play an alien when I can get in as a mercenary in like 60 seconds. So that's something they definitely need to work on. Another thing I think that they should work on is extractions, right? So currently, I don't even know where to go to extract. I extracted one time and I only extracted because like I ended up there accidentally. Now, when you first start playing the game, they do show you a map, and I'm assuming those are the three extractions. Oh, I lied. There is a second extraction I found, um, but I could never use it because you need an ice pick to actually get out. Now, with that being said, unlike Escape from Tarkov, this is not a military simulator. This isn't some ultra realistic sort of game. Give us a map, something to utilize, uh, some sort of UI to discover the... Uh, the extractions i mean i understand eventually you we're going to learn the map we're going to know where to go uh and, and to some degree 
it does add a good little like surprise element like you don't know what to expect you don't know where to go but eventually once you learn the map that that whole element kind of goes away right so with that being said i would like to see some sort of map implemented say i hit m and i pull up the map i visually cannot see my surroundings right so this leaves me open to other mercenaries and also the aliens to come and attack me i think that'd be a good pro con kind of thing right where you the perk obviously is seeing where you're at seeing where you need to go and the negative is potentially getting gangbang <laughs> so with that being said for the most part that that was really the worst part of my experience in the beta were those two different things uh the game did run fairly well oh i would like to mention that the combat is a little bit wonky i would like to see the combat be improved a little bit prior to the game releasing nowadays game developers just like to release like early access games and never quite finish them or polish them up please don't do that i i think you know the developers on this game have a nice little gem on their hands they've got a good solid foundation they just need to add more maps more devices um you know maybe different alien types i would like to see that would throw you in for a loop because then you don't know what to expect right because eventually if you're only fighting like one kind of alien that has six different skills you're going to know what sort of arsenal that alien has to throw but if you have different alien types that do different abilities you don't necessarily know what to expect and i think doing things like that will will really keep the game in a positive direction um aside from that when we talk price point and things of that manner, I think a $20 price tag or somewhere around that will be a fairly uh, good price point for the game. It doesn't seem like the kind of game that they could really implement microtransactions. And sure, like myself, a lot of you are just fed up with microtransactions in general. I would love to see developers go back into the direction of just releasing a good solid game that people want to buy. Instead of just taking our money and running with it, you know? Um, but with that being said, this is a good solid game that's why i wanted to take a few minutes to talk about it i'll go ahead after this video i'm also going to post up maybe just like a 10 minute clip of gameplay footage so you can really understand how the game works and of course if you have any questions feel free to drop them in till next time